Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.12 Voidforged. Last time, um, a bunch of machine worlds came online, and we built a bunch of relays, and we uh, built, you know, upgraded battleship fleets, um, and started uh, this archaeology site to get the Rubricator to do Secrets of the Voltel. And um, we made some progress on, you know, so we started some Fallen Empire techs, we got some uh, lathe buildings, we started the lathe. So we were kind of uh, moving into that mid-game feels, right? Um, we now have like entirely too many districts with 100% habitability, and I have significant indecision on what to do with all of these uh, machine worlds. Um, another thing I noticed is that, and so the machine worlds, right? We have great access to Unity districts, raw resource, forge. The one thing that, or the maybe the the three things that we can't just scale out massively on account of machine worlds are research, um, soldiers, and uh, refining, because they're limited by, by building slots. And granted, these do give a lot of building slots, but um, you know, it's not like we can we we can't. Well, what if this is what? I mean, and then this is a tiny one, right? You know, 12 times 4. You know, we, we could fit a similar number of... Um, that's, oh, that's 48 coordinators versus, like, you know, 9 times 6 is, like, 54 scientists in fully upgraded labs. So it's it's kind of on that order, right? We, we could shove a decent number of scientists in here, but it's not, uh, it's not like we're getting 4 per district times 25 districts or something. Um, I'm probably pretty much done expanding habitats. I do want to go through and make sure that I have machine assembly plants pretty much everywhere. Because at this point, we can absorb a huge number of new pops um, into these machine worlds. So let's make sure that we're, we're building at something resembling our max rate. And this one might be an exception because um, it is kind of specialized. But you know, we can do, we can do unity pretty efficiently on um, Machine worlds as well. So, um, okay, we have one here. So um, that gets us the machine, machine assembly plants everywhere. I do kind of wonder if it's worth uh, like doing some species modding at this point, um, whether we want to be taking um, the the void thing, the void trait off of some of our drones or more of them. Um, if, if we're moving, if we're moving our growth to non-artificial worlds, um, that output and upkeep, you know, that, that'll add up if we put a thousand pops on uh, machine worlds. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that our Federation fleet, um, it was over here somewhere. Yeah. You know, we're currently we have 42 ships and 4K power. That's not very much. And our, our, our cap is like over 400. So we could make this fleet a lot bigger and a lot stronger. Um, does it show up in the fleet manager? I don't really know. Yeah, it does. And our limit on it. Uh, I'm not totally clear on where it shows you like Federation fleet command limit, but um, yeah, this is a mess. So I don't. Uh, can you design ship uh, Federation ships here? I don't think. Okay, no. Um, I didn't save it. Oh, do we we have war ones, don't we? Or something along those lines. Um. And I think autonomous ship intellects are coming pretty soon here, but we don't have them just yet. I don't know if uh, fire control helps with missiles. I might help with point defense, though. I 
I'm also kind of curious what happens. Um, somebody has a ton of shipping lights. Okay, so that was auto designed. Okay, so we need to like start over for these Federation ships. We got the bl oh, interesting. So we got the black um, ship designer again. Yeah, 65 hull points versus 225 armor. Not much of a contest there. I don't want really want to worry about their uh, corvettes. Somebody has the trash disperser too. That's interesting. Sorry, I know this is riveting to watch. I apologize. Kind of sad that you can't like take your own designs and just dump them into the Federation chip design, but Okay. So um let's and then we can retrofit everything. up here. Hmm. Maybe I just, uh, maybe just upgrade them all and see what happens. To these non auto best designs. Okay, there you are. I see. I see. I, just, I was looking in the wrong place. I was looking here. I should look in there. Full of energy again. Can we uh? Is, can we gamble for the uh, the um thing? The uh. Oh, slight research. I'm fine. acquisition successful um none of these excite me that's not although interesting with the with the stability we get from soldier oh no but these are the crime ones not uh not soldiers that's housing amenities huh that's kind of interesting with machine worlds or it used to, it would have been before when sometimes you would build housing buildings for your like support drones and then just straight industrial districts. But I'm not sure it matters so much now because the housing and uh, 
some of these districts give like six housing yeah hmm. fleet command is like a good solid solid tech oh should do about that one. full on food as well can we just give it away you gonna crash somebody's food economy Acquisition successful. It's clearance to vote. Oh, I think we can do. Um, oh, interesting. The icon changes color. It was green and then it just changed when the event trigger, triggered. Also, we can upgrade uh, the Dyson's. Um, not that we really need more energy income right at this moment, so never mind. Uh, too late. Uncancelable. Fine. Um, I guess we already did the physics one. 126 physics in one system. Pretty good. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, storage. Interesting. Okay, this is another lathe building. That gives increased upkeep and increased output per neural chip. So that increases the scaling. Huh. I mean, we'll grab it. We can just build orbital rings everywhere. Can you build orbital rings on moons? You can, interesting. Carrier focus or sublight speed. Uh, mm, I like both of these. Military fleet effects. Okay, and he's a commander. Better in the train military. Okay. Um, how long is he going to live? How can I see that? Okay, he has another like 10 years before we start making death rolls, unless we start, uh, yeah, so. I've never seen this one before. I love speed and, and detection range though. Making sure you get the fights you want is pretty, pretty good. Okay, so that tripled the power of the uh, Federation fleet. Those upgrades. Council agenda ready. Okay, so the lathe is built. We have one pop on it. We can build. We can upgrade it. I don't really see a reason not to do that. It increases the upkeep just a tiny bit. What, okay, and these are... Neural Gate gives extra base output. 
building slots and extra logic output versus traditional science output. We can ascend it. Um, we can resettle pops to it. And we don't have building slots yet. We get two district slots. Interesting. Huh. Does it count as an artificial world for purposes of... Um... It does not appear to count as an artificial world for purposes of... Uh... Okay, it's artificial only for uh, penalties, not for bonuses. Um, edict fund, restored node, yeah, deviancy is okay, and resettlement speed. We should probably expand our uh, mineral production. I feel like all the refining we're doing is, is hurting us there. Do we have a, like an actual, yeah, this is our, some of these got tagged as mining worlds, but I don't want to use them for that. We can't upgrade yet. How is our living metal balance doing? Pot, well, just fine. Okay, so they're building relays now. Their capital's pretty close. We could relay there. Um, I don't love most of the stuff going on here. We can't do the next industrial development thing. I'm surprised that passed. I don't think we have enough of a lead to pass the... or to cut the Themysian set. We might, though. By, by dropping the council size to two. Hmm. Xeno Studies is already just kind of sitting there. Um, can we do... Yeah, Readiness Act, I would... That's a, a great way to slow down you know, pacifists, people who don't build fleet. Make sure we get our vassals in on that. We can upgrade it again. Did we not already just do that? Okay, that got and that got us more building slots. Interesting. Full on energy. We could actually buy more minerals. That's not a bad idea. Some orbital rings coming up on these machine worlds. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Communications alert. Council agenda ready. This was complex turn output. What do we have? Uh, what could we switch to? Amenities. Or uh, yeah, guaranteed tech. We could do that. Okay, this is the archaeology site finishing, which means Shard is about to spawn. Um, I think. No, not quite. 
Okay, yeah. Alert, spaceport engaged. Uh, and maybe we put our Admiral on the battleships. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Alert. Spaceport engaged. That raiding Alert. fleet got spaceport out of dodge. Deconstructed. Um, okay, so we got some ruined orbital rings. Technological acquisition successful. I could have positioned better for that. I was... Yeah, I, I knew from the sound that it was over. Um... But I did not act on that information. We could probably use gas extraction. More mining output would actually be helpful at this point. Okay. How much did we lose? Oh, come back. Um, not much. One cruiser. Uh, yeah, X slots are pretty good. We should start start getting some of those. Interesting, their home base is somewhere where they were originally built. Technological acquisition successful. Growth node, monthly unity. Um, synaptic preserver. This is another lathe building. Slows down pop, pop purge speed, and that's all it does. I don't know if we want that. Empire modifier minus 50 unities. Minus, or minus 50 amenities. Dear God. What could it possibly give? Naval capacity from neural chips. Experience gain from neural chips. Wow. Huh. These are pretty wild. Um, I don't know that I want and would use either of these, but they're certainly interesting. Um, amenities minus 50 is just so, so bad for gestalts. I think we take note of reformatting. I don't want either of those at all. Um, we're working on the agenda for this thing. We could we could just take this and have the agenda make progress on the guaranteed speed up. Can I like rebuild the ring? How does that work? Communications alert. I got two orbital rings on one. That's interesting. Let's see what happens there. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Technological acquisition successful. Um, refining focus, interesting. Settler housing, wow, plus 10 amenities on a planet. And he is level five, which, which sector is he on? Yeah, okay, so he's, he's our, our OG governor. Um, that seems like it'll save a lot more pops across an entire sector. I don't know. Okay, that's a repeatable, not like a prereq for uh, um, unity ambitions or anything like that. I like society research. I'm not in a hurry for the um, situation to progress.
stability and reduced ascension costs. What does um what does ascension here even do? Like what does this designation do? Resources from jobs, upkeep from jobs, purge speed. Um so ascending it slows down the purge and increases the output and reduces the energy upkeep. Huh. Interesting. Uh, we do have enough minor artifacts to do Secrets of the Vault Town, just from uh, that archaeology site. So I guess we don't need to use the Rubricator, but I mean, we probably will. Um, and then we, we could use the Rubricator and do Reverse Engineer. Pile of the side to research. What's the special project? How does that? Uh... Okay, it's a little bit of physics. Not very much at all. Technological acquisition successful. Titans. Special project complete. Okay, so we have. We now we get the the computer. That's a bunch of physics research. And mechanical pop assembly speed bonuses, and yeah, and and thirty five hundred advanced logic. That's quite a bit. That's um, we're at fourteen k. We need forty five k to finish it. So that's like a tenth of our total, or you know, a, a little less than that, but a good chunk of what we need. And we pick up uh, computing expertise, which is not, you know. Something we really wanted, but communications alert. Habitability be okay. Uh, yeah, we should get the reality computer. Absolutely. Base researcher apple bonuses. Not something you see every day. How many artifacts do I have left? 105. Not that much. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Okay, we're capped on a bunch of stuff. This stuff does cost some alloys to build. A lot of upkeep too. Oh, and these okay, and the districts keep building slots. Not just yet, soon though. All right, we don't need more energy. We don't need, don't need more food. Uh, what are we gonna spend these alloys on? Uh, we could beef out the Federation fleet, that's an option. We'll have Titans soon as well. What just happened? It split the Federation fleet? I don't even know. So we got menial pop output on the science tab. Super useful. Thanks. Is that actually my highest population at colony? I guess it is. Interesting. Technological acquisition successful. 
There's the reality computer. We're gonna want to go that build. Go, wanna, going to want to go build that a bunch of places. Um, outer jobs. We can cancel that upgrade and replace with the reality computer. Twenty-four. I have one thirty-eight. So we can build. Uh, like five reality computers. This would be an okay tech world too. It's nice and small. I don't feel bad using it for that. Out of jobs. Um, uh, maybe we should just start building tech on some of these other uh, random, you know, unallocated machine worlds, basically. Um, 2316? Good mining. And that bonus persisted across the. Yeah, sure, this is fine. So. We could start feeding our own pops into the lathe, but that's probably not the best use of pops at this point. We could also expand unity production, I guess. Do I have like a... Hmm. I've already did Master Nature here, yeah, okay. Technological acquisition successful. Um, exploit dark matter. I don't, we don't have like a good source. I don't know how we drew this, because we don't have a source for it. Um, we don't have any black holes, so I don't think we can. I mean, okay, we'll research it, fine. Finishing synchronicity? Um, oh, yeah, not, standard not sure what I want to do with that. Um, I don't know. Nanomus is pretty good. Uh, habitability would be okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how far out we are from megastructures. I guess titans are, um... Probably on the same tier? Communications alert. Acquisition successful. What was that again? Okay, none of missiles, right. Um, those are the, the lathe buildings we skipped. I mean, I guess. Or we could get two worlds left. I don't know that we have any two worlds left. What did that do to our physics output? Technological acquisition successful. Physics from jobs, almost 1600 versus 1400. Okay, not that big of a difference, really, so far. Maybe they're still coming online. Technological acquisition successful. Refinery is pretty good. Fleet command limit also pretty good. But... Technological acquisition successful. Successful. 
Archimeter is pretty good. Class 3 Singularity is interesting, obviously, but the upkeep... And what would it cost for me to feed that by buying Dark Matter? Um, 26. And obviously it gets more expensive if I'm doing that regularly. But, I mean, it, it would... It would be profitable. Not that we need more energy right now, but... What would we switch to? We could do like the cognitive node plus XP gain. While we wait for other stuff to come off cooldown. How long until anything interesting comes off cooldown? Um, Twenty-three twenty. Okay, yeah, so the Unity will be off cooldown pretty soon. But we're kind of out of uses for Unity right now. I guess we could start descending planets. That's what we could do with more Unity. Um, and that's an interesting idea, actually. Technological acquisition successful. Nature refinery. Mega Warforms. Yeah. And ascending a science hub gives a output bonus, so that's that's all right. Um, yeah, we could we could actually like start getting uh, um, kinetics. It's a little you know, uh, um, our kinetics are actually good now. I guess you do. Uh, what, what do you put on artillery these days? It's the um. Yeah, kinetic artillery and like the energy X slot thing. So, I guess. The extra machine modification points are very tempting too, though. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, so there's mod points. Archimeters. Um, Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. Agenda available. Yeah, that's annoying. I was hoping to get them to fifty to get the um, trait, but um, where's the unity one? Oh, we still don't have it yet. Oh no. Okay, it's it's off cooldown. I just can't remember what it's called. I'm not really totally clear on, like, ascension strategy around, like, whether you should pick one or two things and focus them, 
or kind of spread out level ones. Um, okay, so that, looked, that didn't do a whole lot to Empire Size. Um, Reactor Boosters, Cloaking is okay. I know we have some gas deposits around that we should be mining. Okay, we're back to the beginning. Communications alert. Oh, they decided they weren't going to be mad at us anymore. They're loyal again, somehow. Okay, fine. Um... Plus 20 amenities is a lot. I could see finding uses for that. Construction complete. Oh, I couldn't build the successful. Voltamar station because I didn't have gas extraction and it had both energy and gas on one deposit. Alright, that makes more sense. Honestly, I could use some of these too. So I'm hitting caps all the time. Technological acquisition successful. Research size from districts, and yeah, okay. Plus 50% build speed is also handy for keeping up with our pot production. So this one's pretty much done. Oops. Construction complete. Consumer goods. Yeah, I, I don't have any use for that. Technological acquisition successful.
council agenda available. Wow, that came off cooldown fast too. Interesting. So with three points, we could... Something I'm noticing is that... Yeah, so we, we could like remove engineering core and pick up um, the calculator output one. Or even more pop assembly speed. We could remove emotion emulators, since the pops that are working the jobs that... Well, hmm. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Is on evaluators, which produce both amenities and unity, does it... Uh, what, what what form does the adaptive firms take? It, it does propaganda machines. So we are still benefiting from... Um, oh god, I have way too many amenities here. And it's not... Uh, it's only three maintenance drones. So I'm only... Yeah, so I just have... Yeah, a lot. Um... Is this the one with the, um, yeah, I've, this is the one with the, the four furnace, but it's with the machine worlds, so I'm never going to do mining there. I think, yeah. There's no tech. And I can't take the designation because you don't have the districts. That's messed up. Okay, never mind. Just migrate or something. We just talked about this. Um, okay, this is our other official. I think we care more about... Um, governance things. Just as a rule. Technological acquisition successful. How many organics do I have in my empire? 
If I threw them all into the lathe, what would, what would happen? Probably we'd get some purge diplo penalties, is what would happen. Oh yeah, okay, fine. Um, 17 organic pops. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Technological acquisition successful. I guess we just start shoving unity in there too. Okay, this is this is our central leader again. Build cost, build speed, upkeep, minor build speed. What is it currently at level two? Okay, so that gives us more build speed and upkeep reduction. Clear blocker, no. Resource from jobs would be okay, but that's a lot of stuff and, and pretty good stuff for keeping up with our pop growth. Technological acquisition successful. I'm just curious, like, where, where does it show, like, an empire size from single planet? If it does anywhere. That's that's our cap until we get uh, unity ambitions. Hmm. Construction complete. Do I not? Okay, that is the upgraded one. Um, we should probably be adding Titans. But we need Titan assembly yards. Ship augmentations complete. No upgrade button on the fleet itself, only on the fleet manager. Oh, is this uh, is this the head of Zarklan? That'd be cool. Oh, you, you're still in archaeology mode. You should have been managing a planet. There's the timer. Non-standard space entity encountered. I think it's out of Zarklin. Yeah, okay.
can't build the computer yet. We're getting there though, pretty soon. Alert, non-standard space entity encountered. I don't actually know what the fleet cap is, like for Federation fleets. Communications alert. Non interference act. No, I don't think we're going to do a research agreement with you. Construction complete. Ninety-four pops is a lot. Reducing that by a little bit would not be a bad thing. Or reducing the Empire size impact from them wouldn't be a bad thing. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Yeah, we could do Rubricator and Reverse Engineer, I guess. It's a lot of engineering. And that'll also help us afford more um, computers, or more Voltam things. I mean, we, we could just start stuffing uh, research labs everywhere. Previous designations notwithstanding. They still, they, okay, so they haven't done the thing where you can like, queue it um, based on prereqs that will be met. It's a very expensive way to buy consumer goods. Our committer is pretty good. Um, that's fine. We're not, yeah, our fleet is not quite there yet. And once we get, I, once we get the head of Zarklan, maybe uh, they'll leave us alone. Surely there is another Fallen Empire somewhere. It's hmm. odd. It's enough that we still maintain uh, control of the Fed, right? Yeah, definitely. So here's the escorts. I haven't looked at these these new like Fallen Empire ships yet, um, but I hear they're quite good. It's 
a lot of stuff. Um, okay, 1k alloys. So they're kind of comparable to a, a battleship in cost. They have multiple options. I hear the torpedo option is kind of ridiculous. You can fit a lot of torpedoes in a very beefy, very uh, a beefy frame with a pretty good evasion. Um, yeah, they're, okay, so their evasion is 87% with a pair of afterburners. That is kind of ridiculous. I don't think we have good torpedo tech, but maybe we should get on that. Um, what well, can they cloak? <laughs> Not great, but I mean, hmm. Do they have a carrier option, or is that only the the battle cruisers? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Um. Our yeah, artillery. Our artillery options are quite bad at the moment. Uh, but that's a lot of point defense. Yeah, I think maybe we do start building. Um. There was that, uh, this, this one here has a lot of potential for, uh, oh, no, not that, um, building slots. And we could use the naval cap to start building up a fleet so that we don't need to get humiliated by fallen empires going forward. Titan assembly yards are not yet out. Um, yeah, okay. We only got through about 10 years there. Starting to slow down a little bit, a lot to manage. But, and not a whole lot changing. One option to consider, like there, there comes a point where we might want to go loud and um, we, we could do like nihilistic acquisition, uh, you know, to switch our policy over to offensive wars. I don't think they'll kick us out of the Fed. I don't know what'll happen. Um, but, uh, and I suppose that might be a compelling argument to not build up the Fed fleet too big. But, uh, and then, you know, go declare war on, subjugation war on somebody in this Fed and then just go bombard the crap out of everyone with nihilistic acquisition and steal, the, steal all their pops back to the lathe. Uh, but when we do that, we're gonna start taking purge penalties and we are never going to recover diplomatically. So that's a one-way door. Um, and we should be careful at when we choose to exercise one-way doors. I'm gonna have to go back and like look at uh, my galaxy settings in the first video and see if there were actually three fallen empires, because this is getting a little weird. There's only the one. I did save, right? Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching.